Hey, what's going on, guys? Raph here, bringing you another Pokemon showdown session, and I accidentally found a battle. Oh, God. Uh, I will explain the team in a moment, but yeah. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go to Team Builder, and this guy can wait. Uh, bringing you a session. This time we got a Choice Band Celesteela team. This is really interesting. Uh, just enough speed to outspeed uh, Max Speed, Marowak, and hit it really hard with Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Stone Edge, Seed Bomb. That pretty much covers everything in the tier and hits extremely hard. Do not underestimate this thing. This thing does so much damage. They switch in their Marowaks, they switch in their their Magna Zones, and they just die in one hit. They try to set up on it with their Tapu Leles, dead. They taunt it, dead. Okay. And Choice Packs Greninja, which is my anti-lead type thing with Battle Bond. It's extremely powerful. Good revenge killer, good late game cleaner. Salt Vest Magna Zone. I'm going to try to hurry this up. Uh, yeah, HP Ground, you know, blah, blah, blah. Focus Ash thing. Choice Scarf thing. Max speed, the club thing. Okay, let's kill everything. So, he leads off with his Epsil, which is perfectly fine with me. I will just go straight for a U-turn. He goes and do his Decidueye, which is really interesting, because it would have just died. And, um... You know what I don't see a switch in for? Choice Banded Celesteela. He looks to be offensive from the amount of damage that did. Unfortunately, if he does have a Z Crystal, I might just die to that because it's so strong. But I don't care. I'm going for Heavy Slam. Something's going to take a ton of damage. If I somehow survive. Yeah. Sword Stance, you're dead. Get up. Go. Die. Go away. I'm full health, too. So something else can die. He pretty much. Ha yeah, he has to go out in this Miracle here and go for a Spore. So I have to choose my Sleep Fodder here. Uh, Celesteela is very useful for dealing with his Mimikyu. Marowak is very good for dealing with his Magearna. Uh, surprisingly, Type of Lele doesn't really do too much here. And neither does Nihiligo. I'll actually just leave Magnezone as my Sleep Fodder here. So he goes for Rocks. Doesn't care, apparently. I mean, that's fine. I'll just go for a Volt Switch here. As he just gets up all his hazards, which I really don't care. I honestly do not care. Good sir. Because uh, my type of Lily is still Scarfed. Unless he's running Scarf with that, I really don't care. And, um... I'm just going to go for the Water Shuriken. If he lets me get my Battle Bond, that would be very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, Battle Bond, in case you didn't know, it actually does make your Water Shuriken a lot more powerful. So I could potentially just sweep him with that uh, late game if I just weaken a few things. Zerka Tree comes out, and... Uh, I really don't want to risk him being the Tail Glow set. And, you know, the sad thing is, a Specs... Ash Greninja might just Oko him with Water Shuriken. Um, let's see here, where is he? He is a Zerkatry. Sorry, I'm very slow at calcing right now. It's kind of late. Zerkatry. Okay, it doesn't kill. Wait, no, that's not Specs. Choice Specs. Okay, it still doesn't kill. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It really just depends on if he's Scarf. Uh, whether or not I'm scared of him. Depends on the set. I mean, honestly, either way, Magna Zone is the play. Uh, if he's the Tail Glow set, then I'm fine, because I outspeed him. Yeah, he has the Tail Glow set, which is okay. I could probably, unless he has HP Ground, I could probably just take this anyway. And weaken him with my own HP Ground. So he does have HP Ground, which is fine. Now he has all the attack boosts. And, um... Trying to think here. I think the play is Sack and Greninja. Uh, I'll just go for the Water Shuriken here. If he allows me to hit him with it, then I can Revenge Kill him with my Tapu Lele. So I'm still outspeed. I see his Tail Glow. If he was Z Hypnosis Tail Glow, that would have been a lot scarier. Water Shuriken, his Absol for a ton of damage. My god. That is a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, Specs Greninja just destroys everything. See, Mega Evolves, goes for Sucker Punch, doesn't do too much. 
Uh, I have to keep the combination of Greninja and Dabu Lele alive. Uh, getting up a Toxic Spike would be really good. It would definitely be really, really, really good to do. But yeah, not having a spinner is kind of a problem. I'm not particularly fond of not having a spinner, but... Yeah. I just didn't have room for a spinner on this team, really. I could replace Marowak with maybe... I don't know. Something. Magirna comes out, and I think that Celesteela is my play. Let's see the Life Orb. And I should outspeed, unless he's running a crazy amount of speed. And I will just go for an Earthquake. It's banded. We'll do a ton to anything. Let's see his Thunderbolt. Strange set. And he does outspeed as well, so I might just lose to this. I really might just lose to this. Let's just see, I guess. Uh, Flare Cannon might knock me out. So he goes into Mimikyu, which is amazing. I am able to break his disguise and get a bit of chip damage. Which is great. A bit of chip damage is a little bit of an understatement. That was a ton of chip damage. Now, it really depends on if he is Jolly or Adamant here. If he is Jolly, I am in trouble. But either way, Bone Meringue is my play. As I actually live that. Wow. I did not expect to live that. Okay, that is great. That is definitely great. He goes for Energy Ball. And I might need to make some plays here. I just might. Will I need to make plays? I do not know, but I think I might. Either way, I will just go into type of Lele here and fire off Psychics. He'll be able to live it, but he will not take it very well. And I may need to go with for a Hydro Pump with my Greninja. That might be my way of winning here. Because I know that Water Shurikens, like two Water Shurikens, will not be able to knock him out. He actually hard switches into Magir now, which is great for me. Definitely great for me. Kind of. That gives me the opportunity to go into Nihiligo and uh, potentially live a hit. I mean, his best play is definitely going for Flash Cannon, which I will not live. So he actually doubles in his Urquitry. I really don't care about that. See the Z Hypnosis set? I actually live in HP Ground, which is... Okay, that is amazing. I've been saying that a lot. Let's see his Leftovers. Interesting. Now, do I still have the cow cup? Uh, water shuriken. Even if I get two hits, I believe it does knock it out. Yes, it does. At the same time, type of Lele, I think, is the play. Yeah, it's, I think it's in range of Psychic at this point, so it should just die to Psychic. I probably could have couched Shadow Ball. I don't think Shadow Ball would kill it. She stays in. And I think it's probably still going to come down to if I can land... A hydro pump because he is pretty bulky so I don't think that I'll be able to kill him with a water shuriken I will definitely calc that though just to make sure as he's definitely offensive um, and water shuriken should be able to knock him out yes yeah, de it'll definitely be able to knock him out at this range uh, there's no point in risking anything else so I'm actually still faster than him even after the sticky web which is funny <laughs> but yeah that's an interesting team sticky web with a lot of those threats that's scary. Mimikyu under Sticky Web is actually just terrifying. Um, I think you could have played that a little better. I could have definitely played it better as well, so I can't really complain. We have that Serena team that Joey used, I believe. Doesn't this just have... I want to say this is the one that just has Adamant Life Orb Mamoswine. 
So, I'm just gonna be a man and just click Hydro Pump. I honestly, if the, he just copy pasted the team, this is not even Focus Slash and it's just gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Make your own teams. Alright, I get my Battle Bond turn one. He gets no rocks. That's great. Primarina comes out. I have no real good switch into this. He should just go for a Hydro Pump here. I do not see why he would not go for a Hydro Pump here. So I'm pretty much choosing my sack at this point. Uh, unfortunately, Celesteela doesn't do much, so Celesteela is going to be my sack of choice. See, Mrs. Hydro Pump. I'm sorry, buddy. That really sucks. That definitely sucks. Um, most people expect that Celesteela has Flamethrower, so he's probably not going to go out into his Skarmory. He's probably going to go out into most likely Marowak. I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge. So he actually stays in. Actually, live that. Oh. Um, he definitely knows I'm banded, but I'll just stay in and go for a Stone Edge again. So he goes into Greninja. I mean, that's cool with me, man. It's definitely cool with me. Let's see, he's Life Orbed. Okay. Hmm. I'll just go into Tapu Lele here. And he's low enough, I can just go for a Shadow Ball safely. So he goes into his Primarina, which should be 2 at KO'd, right? Yep, definitely 2 at KO'd. And uh, nothing can really come in very well. Serena, I guess, could come in, as it is specially defensive on this team. So he goes into it. He's probably just going to go for a U turn or a Trop Kick. Either one of those, Marowak does not care. Although that does invite in his Greninja. But it can only take one more life orb hit, so I really don't care. So he goes for your turn, that's fine. Uh, like I said, Greninja is most likely coming in. So he goes into his own Marowak, and he's willing to risk the speed tie. Am I willing to risk the speed tie, is the question. The answer is absolutely I am. I'm absolutely willing to risk the speed tie. I don't know if he has even Jolly on that team. I probably have that team somewhere. Um, no, I actually did not copy paste that team, but I don't know if that was Jolly or not, but if it wasn't, that was a speed tie and that definitely mattered, but yeah, I guess we showed off the team a little bit so far. Uh, it's only 12 minutes, I'll actually, I'll just find another one. I wanna find at least one full battle per like thing. Okay. So this guy is hazard stacking, which this team definitely does not appreciate. I will just lead off with Tapu Lele because it kind of destroys his team. And I'm perfectly fine if he just goes for a sludge wave to weaken this or to kill me. Four Pokemons? No. I, I don't know what he's saying. Uh, as he just goes right into his Greninja, that is, that is a ballsy play, good sir. Definitely a ballsy play. And I have no switch in for Greninja. Unfortunately. So, uh, my Salt Vest, Magnezone, I guess the closest thing to a switch in. See his Life Orb, which is good to know. Definitely good to know. I will just go for a Volt Switch. Uh, he might just stay in and try to flinch me. I don't know. He might be one of those players. Probably his best play. But he goes into his own Magnezone. And with that... That doesn't really help me at all. Uh, I see no actual switch-ins to Alola Marowak. Uh, even if he has specs HP ground with max speed, he's, I can still live it. So he goes into Greninja, that's not going to take this well. No, not it does not take that well at all. Not at all. Not at all. And at this point... Do I actually need my type of Lele to be healthy? I do not. I will actually go into this. Unless he crits me, I can live any hits. Nice. Actually, even with a crit, I could have lived that. And, um... I think HP Fire would probably just be the best play here. It'll hit anything pretty hard. If he decides to switch out, as he does, switches out into a Celesteela, that takes absolutely nothing. That is definitely especially defensive. Absolutely especially defensive. Which means he might have Earthquake. 
Uh, people like running that just to lure in other Celestealers. Unfortunately, I don't have anything on my own Celestealer that can hit him. So I'll actually just go into Marowak. I will risk the Earthquake. Uh, especially defensive Celesteel is annoying to deal with, though. I mean, I can weaken it a lot with my Magnuson. Unless he's running a ton of speed. Now he could predict this as well and go into his Greninja, which would be a good play. But it dies in one more Life Orb hit, so I really don't care. So he goes for Lead Seed, nice passive play. I kind of want to Swords Dance up, because everybody always protects. I guess I'm going to. I mean, this doesn't accomplish anything. But uh, I thought he was going to protect there. Which sucks, because now this thing just, like, gets a kill. I'll just let it kill my Marowak. That's fine. And I will just go into my own Greninja here and click Water Shuriken. If he stays in, then he'll let me get my Battle Bond, which would be nice. I'm not sure what kind of thing he's running. So he just goes out into a Celestial, smart play. Oh god, this thing is so bulky. Uh. I just, I don't want to go out straight into my Magna Zone. Because that's such an obvious play. Honestly, anybody should be predicting that. Uh, Sacking Marowak was definitely not the best. I would have preferred being able to have that. But I'll just go for Stealth Rock, because he does have the Earthquake. And he now has a special defense boost. Which means I can do nothing to him. I might just lose to this. So I do get a crit. That is nice. Definitely appreciated. Uh, actually, that crit allows me to go into my own Celesteela now. He goes for Leech Seed. Ugh, this thing is so irritating. I don't know if he's going to Protect or if he's going to Flamethrower. I have to go into Magnazone either way just to, just in case. He goes for Heavy Slam. That's fine. And uh, now I think I can just safely go for Thunderbolts. And he still lives. Oh my god. No. Please. Okay. He does not have... Does he not have Protect? I don't know. But either way, that massive threat is gone, and I could potentially just sweep him with my Greninja. I'll go for HP Ground just in case. He has HP Fire, and that doesn't even knock me out. My own HP Ground is able to kill him. So he's probably Scarfed. Which is nice. It's definitely nice. Crobat comes out. Uh, he might want to just Defog. As he does, and Magnazone getting another kill, which is great. Although defogging allows his Mag or his Greninja to get another hit off, but he goes into it right now, which I do not care at all. I will gladly let this thing die. And at this point, neither of his Mons can kill Celesteela. This still might not have been the best play. He does have Thunderbolt, I am able to live it. He's not Sash, which is great. Get my attack boost, didn't matter, but uh, yeah, I don't think he could take. I mean, he could have won still. He could have potentially taken, I could have missed a Hydro Pump, and then he could have taken a Psychic, probably. He could have won still. Probably shouldn't have forfeited. Uh, well, that was actually a full game, so I'm gonna move on to the next one.